Shalom. Ka Hala, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. We, being the hopeful elect, have made a covenant by sacrifice. The scripture tells us in the book of Romans 12 and verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, and through the mercies of the Most High, we have been made known of what pleases the Most High. For an example, St. John chapter 6 and verse 28. Then said they unto him, and that him is Yahweh Shai, what shall we do that we might work the works of the Most High? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he have sent. And the Most High have sent our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, to become that ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Okay? So the Most High have allowed us to know what pleases him. Number one, to believe upon our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. The book of Baruch, chapter 4. In verse 4, it says, O Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. All right? And that's not made known to Israel as a whole. That's only made known unto the elect of the nation of Israel. In our case, the hopeful elect. Okay? So it begins with faith. And we have faith in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, that he's coming to deliver us, all right, first from ourselves, secondly, from Esau, okay, which Esau is going to bring forth destruction, okay? Now, the ultimate destruction is going to be by the way of 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles, but the Most High is going to put the spirit upon him to put forth a sequence of events leading up to the total destruction of America, Okay? And we have been made known, okay, of things to come. We have been made known of what pleases the Most High, okay? And that's why we want to continue in our covenant that we have made with the Most High through Yahweh Shai by putting our hand to the plow, becoming that living sacrifice. Back to the book of Romans 12 and verse 1 again, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. And how do we do that? We follow the command of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. The book of Luke, chapter 14, and verse 23. It says, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. And that's the job of a prophet, all right? That's the job of a watchman. That's the job of a good shepherd, all right? They will lead the flock in the right way. That's what a good shepherd would do. A good watchman would blow the warning trumpet when he see danger coming, all right? Now, let's look up this word, compel, because that's what we were sent to do. The word compel, the pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G 315, Anakadzo. Anakadzo. It says, by force, threats. See that? By force, threats. Okay, so going back, since we got a clearer understanding of that word compel, St. Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, and we would be the servants, go out into the highways and hedges. All right. And that's what we do, starting with the apostles and the elders here at Great Millstone. We go out into the highways and the hedges, meaning we go out on the highways and byways. All right. On the street corners, it says, and compel them. All right. Meaning threat. 
to come in that my house may be filled. All right. And that's what we're doing. When you read the book of Ezekiel 3 and 17, this is the job that we're performing, being the watchman. Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, meaning give Israel warning that all of these things are going to take place such as the Most High putting the spirit upon his whipping stick, which is Esau Edom, beginning with the top-tier elites, to come down with great wrath, all right? Such as the sea hip concentration camps, all right? They're going to come with their NWO, which is their New World Order, all right? And we want to continue in our covenant that we have made by giving our sacrifice that we be covered in those times, all right? And this is a part of it, to what? Warn the people that danger is coming, all right? The scripture says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So the Most High have set us up, all right, to warn you, all right, to threaten you, to compel you, all right? In other words, tell you if you don't come back inside of the house, you're going to be destroyed outside, all right? Meaning, if you don't come back to the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, through his in-between, which is Yahweh Shah, you're going to be destroyed. You're not going to have a protective hedge round about you in the times to come. And that's the job of a prophet. We're standing on high, and we're foreseeing the evil, and we're blowing the trumpet so the people can prepare. But only the holy mountain is going to hear the sound of the warning trumpet, all right? So let's go back to the book of Romans 12 and verse 1 again. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. See that? So we are commanded to go out on the highways and byways and hedges, all right, and compel Israel to come back to the Most High, all right, by threats, all right, warning them that danger is coming. All right. And take cover right now. That's a part of us presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. All right. And if no one else seizes us, the wicked elites sees us. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter five. In verse one, it says, then shall the righteous man. All right. Those that are. Uh, giving their bodies a living sacrifice, all right, keeping up their end of the bargain of the covenant. It says, then shall the righteous man, starting with the apostles and the elders on down here at Great Millstone, stand in great boldness. And that's what we're doing. We're standing in great boldness, all right, before the face of such as have afflicted him. And that's the wicked elites, all right. We're the weak things of the world that the Most High have chosen through Yahweh Shah to confound the wise, all right? And the wise being the wicked elites. And we're standing in great boldness, all right, in their faces and telling them that their system is going down. And we are going to be the next rulers and they are going into hardcore bondage. And one day, all right, they're going to be done away with, meaning the cancer is going to be rid out of the body. Okay, the earth being the body and the wicked elites being the cancer. Okay, it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Okay, it says, And made no account of his labor. So if anybody else don't see us, the wicked elites see us and they know that we're telling the truth. Okay, that's a part of us giving our bodies as a living sacrifice upon this huge altar, which is America. Romans 12 and verse 1 again. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So this is what we're supposed to do. All right. You never pull a hammer out of the toolbox to drive a screw in, you pull out a screwdriver and vice versa. 
So when the Most High is about to destroy a place, he put forth his prophets first because he's a just power. He's a balanced power. His warning comes before his destruction. All right. And we are a part of that warning. Okay. We are blowing the trumpet. We are the ones that are what? Setting our face, as the scripture says, against Mount Seir. Ezekiel 35. In verse 1, it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So the Most High have set up his prophets here in these times to what? Prophesy against Mount Seir. And Mount Seir would represent America. All right? And we're prophesying against Mount Seir, meaning we foresee the destruction of Mount Seir and we're telling the rulers of Mount Seir, all right? And we're telling the inhabitants of Mount Seir, which are two-thirds of our people, and the hopefully elect, that this place is going to be destroyed. Now, the hopefully elect is going to hear that warning, and they're going to take cover. But two-thirds are going to fan the hand, and they're going to get the judgment of the wicked, okay? But those that receive the prophets and accept the prophets... Scripture tells us in St. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 41. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And what's that reward? It begins with what? Salvation. Okay? So those that believe upon the words of the prophet, you're going to receive a prophet's reward. Okay? Because we are looking for what? Salvation. That's why we want to continue in our pledge or our covenant. The book of Psalms 50 and verse 5, it says, gather my saints together unto me. And that's what we're seeing take place right now. The great gathering by the way of the Internet, by the way of the word being put upon the Internet and the Internet doing the heavy lifting and sending the word out to the four corners. All right. St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. OK. Matter of fact, let's get it. St. Matthew 24. And verse 14, and this gospel, the gospel that we're sending out, which is the true gospel of the kingdom shall be preached, meaning prophesied in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So we are in the end because the word has went out. All right. It says Psalms 50 and five again, gather my saints together unto me. So that's how the saints has been gathered. All right. That's why we're in the end, because the word has went out. It says those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let's read that again. Psalms 50 and verse five again. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And we will be a part of that number. All right. The prophets on down to the believers. OK, we are making a covenant by our sacrifice, all right? The prophets, by going out on the highways and byways and hedges, okay? Putting off this world, the same with the believers, putting off this word, world and believing in the words of the prophets. By default are the words of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, that was given unto him from the Most High. The word covenant or the phrase, a covenant with me, Strong's H, one two eight five it says covenant alliance a pledge see that so we have made a pledge we want to keep our pledge it says agreement see that's our agreement it says between the most high and man all right so through our lord and savior yahweh shah we have made a pledge 
when we put our hand to the plow, all right? When we put our first garment on, went out for the first time, read our first precept, okay? You have made a what? Pledge. You have made a covenant, and we want to stick to it because the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, okay? So we want to keep up our end of the bargain, Lord willing, okay? Let's read it again. Psalms 50 and verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. All right. And that's what we have done. And we want to continue in the work. Because the work is the most important thing that we need to be doing right now here in these times. So with that, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom. DTA.